This is Ben, Liam and Bell on Nova. G'day there, podcaster. Really fun episode today. Um, a pretty long run for us because we've been on air since, like, start of December, which it, it, weirdly in radio, that's that's a long time. So. People have been working a normal job non-stop. Yes. And they don't get a break. We're special, aren't we? Because we have a radio show. What did we call today's podcast, Liam? Special, special boys and girls. Um, <gasps> I'd get a photo with anyone in their undies is what I've called it. I like that because of the guy from yes, the... Yes, the grid boys thing, which is the first thing you'll hear in the podcast. You know what you should do? Maybe spell it. The way he said it. Like, yeah, I, yeah, Ben. With, with okay. in That's undies. a good idea. I could do that. Yeah. Cool. All right, enjoy the pod. Nova 100, right across Melbourne. Good morning. You are here with your mates Ben, Liam and Bell. So exciting. The Grand Prix this weekend in Melbourne. It truly is a global event. Uh, ben and myself, never never been before. Mm-hmm. Bell, you grew up in Melbourne. You're actually a bit of a motorhead as well. Secretly. Well, yeah, I come from a racing family. So I've been going to the Grand Prix since I was about three. <laughs> but uh, love it, love it. We only have V8 supercars in Adelaide, yeah. so I'm excited for some international flavour. It you know feels what I mean? like, you know, car racing, um, let's be totally honest, synonymous with more bogans yeah. car racing. Yeah. But the F1 feels a little bit fancy. <laughs> oh, oh, look at me. I'm having a prawn and having some shabby. It caters for all fans. This is it. Uh, and look, um, one of the things that um, people loved about going to the races is getting photos with the grid girls. But uh, they were cancelled. Yeah, if you didn't know, the grid girls, they would just walk around car racing events and they would, uh, in their in their bikinis, mm-hmm. and they would just get photos with punters. And they got cancelled, even though, as a female, I grew up, and I'm not going to lie, always wanted to be a grid girl. It was like, it was a dream. You've well, got your own grid girl outfit, don't I've you? I've got a grid girl outfit at home, just <laughs> you, for me. That you wear at home. That <laughs> you wear at home to watch the TV. Well, um, obviously, you know, they're, they're moving with the times, whatever. And uh, Ben and I were thinking, well, I mean, what about grid boys? You know, they, they got rid of grid girls. They never ha- even had grid boys. And, uh, you know, we thought that'd go down quite well. Yeah, it's 2023. Let's get some grid boys out there. So we got the tightest hot pants we could find. <laughs> little bikini for our man boobs. My muffin top has never been bigger. I, I got those... Um, you know, after looking back at some of the images um, mm. from the track yesterday, I, I realised I've got those sort of gills, like mm. fish gills, like you yeah, know when you fat. The, the top, the the bikini top was pushing. It your was pushing my chest fat, fat down. Chest fat down. Yeah. yeah. Um. Look, if, if if this description isn't enough for you, um, the Ben Liam and Bell Instagram is where you can head right now. There are a few uh, photos, photos of us in the in the grid boys outfit. There will be a video later on today. Uh, but whilst we were there, all dressed up, um, we thought we'd. Speak to a few punters uh, and see how the people on the track felt about grid boys. I like the way you move. They got rid of grid girls, but we're the grid boys. What do you think? Sensational. You like I love it? it, and you're doing a great job on it, too. <laughs> Sir, they got rid of grid girls. How do you feel about grid boys? Oh, certainly brilliant. <laughs> Is that what you identify as? A grid boy, a grid yeah. Boy. How do you feel about grid boys? Grid what? Grid boys. What's that? That's us. That's us. Oh, sexy. Yeah, thanks, mate. <laughs> get a photo, boys. Oh, I love them. Yeah. You want to get a photo? Oh, why not? Why not? Why not? Sexy. Yeah. So sexy. Yeah. yeah. Great, great. I reckon you should shave, though. Yeah. He's, he's perfect for it. You're talking my face or maybe down there no, a bit? All three. <laughs> oh, mate, with that little beer butt. Yeah. Oh. No, no, definitely not. <laughs> Good boys, I'm all about it. All about it. What do you reckon? Do you like it? Yeah, f- yeah. <laughs> do, do you think my ass looks firm in these pants? It looks yeah. a little bit cold. You've been <laughs> oh my god, okay. Oh. <laughs> I think she said I had a small. <laughs> <laughs> she definitely did. Damn. Are you digging grid boys? Mate, I'll get a photo of anybody in their undies. <laughs> <laughs> In all fairness, it was pretty cold yesterday at the track, uh, so don't don't judge us. If you dare, the photos are up on the Ben, Liam and Bell Instagram. They are extremely revealing. I tell you what, it was a bit of a hit. Like we were getting more photos than I thought, and there were there were wandering hands. Is, <laughs> is yeah. all I'll say. The video, if you want it, will come out later today. Uh, maybe twenty twenty four grid boys. Yeah. For holiday accommodation more comfy than your old trackies, jump on the What If app. With hotels, holiday rentals, holiday parks and more, find the perfect fit for holiday you. Book your getaway on the What If app. What If, it's Aussie for travel. Ben and Bell, my TV's on the fritz. It's not been working properly for weeks. It's You'll be watching it, right? And then it just turns off. 
almost as if someone sat on the remote. But it's not a remote issue because mm. it's changed the batteries on it a lot. And it's sort of what happens is that you'd be like watching and then it sort of like chugs out. So it's like it starts to slow down and then it goes black and you can only see the subtitles. And then it just goes and turns off. Oh. And uh, the only way you can get it on again is by going around to the wall, ripping the plug out, putting the plug back in, and then using the remote to turn it on. Wow. Oh, so you have to like almost like turn it off yeah. at the reset power point. Like you have to yeah. reset it every time. You've got to like disconnect it from the, from the power. This has been going on for three weeks, and I'd say every 10 minutes. What? <laughs> every 10 minutes Don't you've got bother. to do that. Don't bother. Don't bother watching it. No, I like to, I like to watch TV. You know? It's so annoying. You, you have dinner. You want to sit on the couch. You want to chill out for a bit. Maybe and then, and so so Sarah and I we're sitting there on the couch and then like go off, and then the next time it's like oh it's my turn. Yeah. We, we like we take turns. It's so like you got a newborn, but it's actually and it's then, actually pretty good. It's getting your blood flow going though. It's actually like it's, it's nice. True. You get a ten minutes sit and then you got to get up. Being a couch potato the whole time. It's actually infuriating though because it's like like I can't deal when mm. technology doesn't work right. And to be fair, we bought it like. From like JB Hi-Fi, and and they were like trying to sell us these TVs, and we we're like, what about that one? And they're like, oh no, don't buy that. That's the floor TV. So that's been on for like two years. And we're like, we'll take it because oh. <laughs> it was super cheap. It was super cheap. But like, I think the longer a TV's been on, the sooner it's going to cook. Like if you're buying a car and someone's been driving it like flat stick, like yeah, the across display, the country. yeah, the Sir, display is always a roll the dice. That's yeah. an absolute lemon. I would not buy that. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 400 bucks is 400 bucks. I mean, I'm not an idiot. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. had a good run out of it. But um, I'd like to do this this morning. 13, 24, 10. It only works if I. Because we've just sort of been dealing with it. Like we, we, you know, we like the TV and it works good for like the 10 minutes that it's on. <laughs> but it, the, the TV is only working now if every 10 minutes we rip the PowerPoint, mm. like we rip it from the wall and, and plug it back in. I've got uh, the dishwasher at home. Yeah. Uh, it's from the 80s. Um, so we've had it for, well, decades. And it only works if I... So what you got to do is to close the dishwasher, you have to get a spoon and use the back end of the spoon to wedge it underneath the handle <laughs> so that the handle unlocks this bit that's chipped off. Then it locks... But then you've got to do the reverse to open it. <laughs> to turn it on, you've got to turn the dial around twice and then backwards once. <laughs> but you have to get it on number two and then it works. It's Whoa. like some sort of <laughs> intricate safe in one of those <laughs> bank robbery movies. It only works if I dot, dot, dot. You finish that sentence. 13, 24, 10 is our number. Give us a buzz. Brenda in Bayswater joins us now. It only works if you what? Turn the washing machine off at the wall to reset it before I can restart it. It's a bit annoying, that, isn't it? How, mm. how long have you been dealing with that for? Oh, about three years. <laughs> yeah. So I'm, uh, I'm it early days. Worse. It could be worse. All you got to do is off on and then you're fine. At least, you know, yeah, you, yeah, you don't have to turn the dial five times and whatever. <laughs> you can live with it. And, and uh, you're not going to have to uh, get a new one anytime soon if you've done it for that long. Marissa and Mount Albert, uh, tell us. It's Mont Albert, isn't it? Yes, Liam, it is. Thank you, Mont Albert, yeah. yeah sorry, sorry Marissa. I was really <laughs> boiling Marissa's blood. <laughs> sorry for grinding your gears this morning. Uh, I'm new in town. Um, you've seen the ads. Okay, Marissa, uh, yeah, tell us. Uh, what, what do you have to I've deal with? I've got, in my car, the, you know, you've got your toggle thing that should start your car, not your key. My car only works if I hover that around the steering wheel about five times for it to detect it. <laughs> So you've got, so, so sorry, not. Marissa, you've got one of those cars where it starts with a button rather than putting the key in the ignition, um, which is supposed to be you just have the key on your person, but you're saying you have to like hover around the button for it to, <laughs> to, a, to acknowledge and it. And it's, it's a certain way you've got to move it, and it's really <laughs> great when someone's waiting for your car park and they think you're just playing <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I love the oh, idea I'm of that. Debra, turn my car Waving off. Waving the key around until the, key, the car decides to detect that it's there and... That's a good, like, anti-theft measure. Yeah, well, that's it. No one's stealing that. I love the idea of someone freaking out, like, in a, in a packed, like, Westfield car park and you're mm. just teabagging <laughs> keys along the dash. What is this woman doing? Phoebe, in Frankston, what are you dealing with at the moment? So, I've got a hold on Commodore and um, my car won't start unless I put my key in, turn it on, and then take my key out while driving. Oh, so you actually have oh, to take your key gee. out. Yeah, right. Yeah, no, like, oh, your, your phone only works half the time as well, by the sounds of things. Maybe put your keys in it. I'm confused. Wouldn't that then turn the car off? Well, you not, can't just yank the key out. Not for this one, obviously. Uh, Daniel in Mulgrave, uh, what are you dealing with? 
Uh, I've got a combi camper van and it's got a whole laundry list of issues. I have to give people a list mm. when they borrow it. <laughs> Um, there's the indicator that when you move it to left or right, once it gets there, you kind of have to jiggle it till the lights start flashing. <laughs> okay, yeah. Just give it a little jiggle. There's the sliding door that you ha- and you can only shut if you do it softly. <laughs> oh. There's the key that sometimes decides it won't come out, so I give them a towel and a spare key so that the towel just covers it so no one knows there's a key there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, That's great. There's the, there's the air conditioning, which tends to strobe, and then you just have to turn it on and off three times. <laughs> Yeah, I think there's a few others, but you know, I have to give a list. To I, them. Yeah, they like to borrow the camper. So. I, I I love Daniel the, the idea of you having to sell this van on car sales and like someone coming around <laughs> and you giving them the list. They're like, "What's the towel for?" Oh, long story, <laughs> long story. It's six ten, hallelujah! It's six ten. Well, good morning and happy Friday to you, Jed. Are you on your way to work? I am, I am. How are you? Yeah, not too bad, Jed. You going to go to the F1 this weekend? Uh, I would like to, but I'm not. No. Oh. Feels like that time we've got tickets in our back pocket, but unfortunately, <laughs> I don't think we're the official partner, so... Yeah. Before we okay, jump into the quiz, Jed, what do you do for work? A uh, carpenter. Yeah, nice. Right. Okay. Well, Jed, I'm always yeah. looking for carpenters to come around and help me out at my house if go. you're interested in oh, side work. Yeah. No, Jed, don't don't oh, yeah. get sucked in. He he does he uses the radio show for cheap labour. Hey, he Jed. won't pay you. Hey Jed, you know what? Because I like you, we've got some tickets to the St Gilda game this weekend. If you want them, you want to go see the Saints play? Uh, yeah. Well, I'm Bombers fan, so I oh, definitely perfect, do want to go. Perfect, but mate. I've been ro- uh, been roped into babysitting, actually. So oh. I'll bring the kids along. We can get a few more tickets. <laughs> yeah, yeah also, that's I think true. All right. Might as well. Might as well. We All got right. the tickets from Saints, so if you're a Bombers fan, I don't think we should give you I still tickets. think we should give them to Jed. Oh, okay. Of course. Awesome. Um, and Jed, all you have to do is about nine grand of work around Ben's home <laughs> for that. So we'll, I'm sure he'll pencil you in soon. Anyway, uh, let's kick into this quiz. It's Grand uh, Grand Prix weekend, of course, in Melbourne. The F1's hit the track today. In what Melbourne park is the Grand Prix race? Albert Park. Sex dolls are being used by drivers in Melbourne to ride in transit lanes, apparently. What colours on a sign indicate it's a toll road in Melbourne? Uh, Yellow and blue. He's good. Queen Camilla has been spotted wearing a diamond necklace that belonged to Elizabeth Regina. What was the name of King Charles' first wife? King Charles' first wife, Mm. Diana. Yeah. Very well done. Jed, you're on a heater. Yeah. Look at it, Jed. Uh, cocaine Cassie. Remember her? Well, she cocaine has... Cassie. Yeah, mm. she's, you know, she smuggled all that um, gear into... But she said it was headphones. Yeah. Well, it was headphones, yeah, it was wasn't it? But it was like... It was packed into the headphones, wasn't what? it? Uh, it was in no, the no, headphone I packaging. I don't think they even looked like headphones. I think they oh, looked like big bags of I thought of she coke. had like 18... No, no. she claimed... No. Oh, I just thought they were headphones. You know, you, you're carrying bricks wrapped in plastic. <laughs> what did you think they were? <laughs> <laughs> One giant AirPod. Yeah, anyway. Uh, she says she doesn't have any friends. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Why is that a new okay, story? Hang on, hang on. Back up, back up. Cocaine Cassie has done a sit-down tell-all interview. In the interview, she said that all her friends have left her. Probably because of that whole okay. cocaine thing. <laughs> You know, with the whole drug smuggling thing. Anyway, what continent is Colombia in? Colombia, mm-hmm. uh, South America. Yeah, Very yeah. Good, Let's see if we can go five for five, Jed. You're already in the draw for Nova's first class and fifty k. But if you get this next question right, Beauty. you get to pick the next song we play. Beauty. It's Beauty. Zach Braff's <laughs> birthday next week. JD is turning forty eight. Can you finish these lyrics? I can't do this all on my own. I'm no superstar. Oh, no. Oh, no. On the last, on the oh. last word. The last half of the you got, word. You got the first two right. You had a, you had a perfect run, and we were just so close. Oh, damn it. To the, it's like you were you were doing a, a 400 meter sprint, and you're like oh. 10 meters off, and your Achilles just like gave oh. way. Jeez. Oh. Oh, well. That's so well, disappointing. Yeah. You're in the draw anyway for oh, Nova's first class in yeah. 50k. Leah in South Moraine, can you please finish these lyrics? Oh, I'm so flat on that. <laughs> ben. I can't do this all on my own. No, I know. And it's tragic. I don't know what they are. Oh, oh, oh. you never seen Scrubs? All right, Michelle and South Yarra, can you finish these lyrics? I can't do this all on my own, no, I know. Oh, my 
my God, no, I can't. Oh, it's iconic. <laughs> no idea. And we know the first two words are right. I'm no, no. super we something. Just, we need the last bit. 13, 24, 10 if you're a Scrubs fan and you know the lyrics. Give us a buzz. Jordan and Frankston, can you please finish these lyrics? This was like my entire, my entire teenage years, <laughs> this song. I can't do this all on my own. No, I know. I'm no Superman. Yeah, yeah good, we good. got there. Yeah, good stuff, mate. Hey, bit more fun in your voice if Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel call you later on to let you know you've won Nova's First Class and 50K, all right? But you also get to pick right. the next song we play. So would you like to hear Belle's Little Number? Samantha Mumba. Are you more of a Gwen Stefani kind of lady? What do you want to hear, Jordan? Oh, we'll go number two. No. Yeah, Gwen Stefani. Yeah, I don't no. think anyone's ever going to pick yeah. Samantha Mumba. Uh, Jordan, do you think we can get rid of Bill Stinker when we come it's back from holiday? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I reckon. Give it the ball, yeah. I reckon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What the hell? You guys have... Jordan, songs all the time. Mate, you have a great day. You go to yourself, you go to Mac's and get yourself a coffee, all right? Oh, thank you. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> See, Jordan. Zero energy on that guy. <laughs> when Stefani, cool on this Friday morning. Going to be pretty cool out there, wet on the road, top of 19 degrees. You are here with Ben Lehman and Bell. Ben, myself and Bell were having a conversation yesterday. Who would win if you had like 100 kids, like Oz kick kids, versus... Three AFL players. Turns out it's the AFL players. I mean, we we, <laughs> yeah. we, we probably knew that anyway, but we wanted to put it to the test and uh, the good folks at St Kilda helped us out. There is a full video now on the Ben Lehman Bell TikTok and Instagram if you, if you want to see it. The kids... They just swarm around. You know, You know. if you've ever seen, like, an under-8s game yep. of footy, that's what they do. They just all follow in a pack, like a swarm of bees to the ball. Yeah, the three AFL players won pretty comprehensively. Yeah, you had Brendan Goddard there, Justin Kaczynski and uh, Tony Brown. Like, and, and I was thinking, like, oh, you know, they're obviously elite, but they're retired for a while. Mm. Maybe they've let themselves go for a bit. But it was, it was very clear very early on that they were extremely good at what they do still. And they have that competitive edge that they never lose. Even if they're versing kids, they're still going to want to pump them. Oh, I don't know if it was Kaczynski or if it was Goddard. It was one Cozzy. Of, the, was it Cozzy? Don't, don't, argue. don't argue. He don't argued this one kid like four times. Yeah. Like, <laughs> ended his career before it even started. Like, that, is that kid ever... That kid's going to be like, maybe this isn't for me. Now, we've been banging on about this a lot this week. Uh, if you didn't know, Bell, uh, our wonderful friend and co-host, huge fan of Hamish and Andy. So much so that her childhood bedroom was like a shrine to them. And we took Andy Lee through that bedroom. And since then, you've had to confront him, Bell. Mm-hmm. Uh, we also had Hamish Blake on the show yesterday. If you've missed all that, you can check it out on the Ben Lehman Bell socials and in the podcast. Now, Lehman Bell, we were officially done with yep. our fun. Well, Lehman and I's fun, Bell's torture. I was done by Monday. Um, <laughs> but then we saw saw a video online last night and we thought we have to get this person on to talk about their idea. People are starting to rally up support for you, Bell. Uh, the, the person behind this new campaign is Kaylee, uh, who's actually living in Mackay. Uh, Kaylee, uh, tell us about your campaign. Posters up for Bell, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag posters up for Bell. So, so Kaylee, you're a fellow fangirl, is that right? Oh, man, I have been a fangirl my whole life. Um, It wasn't, like, a male uh, fandom that I was in when I was younger. It was Rihanna, so it was a little bit different. But I have matching tattoos now and everything. Had a full shrine. But this movement is about joining you on your little obscure shrines, and I've put up Tommy Little in my room in support of you, Belle. (laughs) Kaylee, so did you say you had matching tattoos with Rihanna? Is that who you had matching tattoos with? (sighs) So to explain, (laughs) because... Um, my first tattoo, I wanted something that my mum would accept. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she was dead against them. So I got what I wanted, but I got Roman numerals on my shoulder, which is her ber- my mum's birthday, whereas Rihanna's is her best friend. I was going to ah. say, yeah. If you've got, like, ASAP yeah. Rocky on your neck or whatever, or, like, her kid's name on you, that's her real birthday, weird. birthday, right across my chest. <laughs> yeah. um, so, Kaylee, I love this. So, hashtag posters up for Belle, just in honour of the fangirls. You know, we, it, most of us went through this, like you said, with Rihanna, but you've got, you're putting Tommy up at the moment, Rival Network, so... 
so annoying, but that's fine. Um, <laughs> I mean, do... We're not talking about networks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so. That's true. But would you rustle up an old school Rihanna one and we can get like anyone Babe, that you were obsessed with? already up around my office. Love it. Love it. Love it. <laughs> already up. <laughs> Kaylee, you, you, you've opted for, for Tommy Little. Is there, a, um, is there a problem with Ben and myself's body? Is there a reason <laughs> well, why you don't right? have shirtless posters of us up there? I will give you uh, the fact that you guys have been the radio icons for me for quite some time. However, you don't have the abs yeah. of Tommy Little, <laughs> yeah. and he is he is really funny. Uh, you got to admit, Kate, like guys, yeah. Tommy's oh, like, two for again, two. rival network, but two things we don't have: hot. abs and funny. <laughs> yeah. um, and, so, and he's got he's got sick tats. So, as well. what is the hashtag? The hashtag is posters up for Bell. Yes. Yeah, so, That's right. how about Kaylee? Let's um, let's get this going with like if you've got a Justin Timberlake, whoever you were obsessed with yep. growing up, just for yourself. Let's do a bit of a throwback. Uh, wherever you're living at the moment, doesn't have to be your childhood bedroom. Whack the posters back up. Yep. Let's just have a bit of nostalgia. So far, Kaylee, um, I think you're the only person who's posted on the hashtag, but you did start it, like within <laughs> yeah. the last 24 hours. <laughs> yeah, I, right. I started this. It, it is a stone right now, a pebble, and it will grow into a boulder. We will, uh, <laughs> we will get this going. Oh, I <laughs> love the idea. I reckon we back this in 100%. Uh, when you get home today, maybe dig out a poster from under the bed, do a fresh one if you've got to reprint it. Whoever you were obsessed with when you were growing up, print off a photo of them and stick it up on your wall. No more shame if you are a fangirl or a fanboy. Um, if you do post it as well, we'll post it across our uh, social story. A social story? Instagram story. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Uh, <laughs> cool, man. Uh, put it yeah. on the profile. Yeah, we'll, we'll put it on the, um, <laughs> the Facebook um, social <laughs> man. Yep, we'll get, the, get that across on the MySpace for you. Uh, what's it called? LinkedIn. We'll put it on LinkedIn. <laughs> All right. Hey, we said earlier in the show that it's about damn time, about damn time. at 8.35 to call through if you wanted to see Lizzo. She's coming. She's going to be here in July at Rod Laver Arena, Monday 17th and Tuesday 18th of July. She's got two shows now. Tickets are on sale. Go to livenation.com.au. Oh, this is super duper awkward though. Because I hate you know, when this happens. You know, we said, you know, 8.34, it's too early, don't call then. 8.35 on the dot, okay? 8.36, that's too late. And what happened is it, it, it almost broke the phone lines because Sarah in Chelsea and Katrina in no. Box Hill, guys, you both called through like mm. within the same second, like like within the exact same time. Like, we honestly, we couldn't, it never happened. We couldn't split it. Never yeah. happens. Mm. So, so I, suppose, I suppose like the question is like... Sarah, do you do you want the tickets more than Katrina? Do you think, or do you think like Katrina like deserves them, or what, what do you think? Like, Look, I've called on everything. Hang on, hang on, hang on, oh, ladies, 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 ladies. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Uh, like, we'll, we'll both have our, our time to state our case. Uh, we're not going to make you fight to the death, but uh, Katrina, you you can go first. Why do you think you deserve the tickets? Um, because I just dropped my mom off the airport, and I've been on the road since seven a.m. and I'm pulled over on the Eastern Freeway mm. right now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> pretty good. It's about okay. that time for me to win something. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. What about what about you, Sarah? Why do you think you should win? Well, I've called every single day this week to try and win tickets, and I'm just dying to go. So I'd love to go. <sighs> mm. But are you pulled over on the side yeah. of a freeway? They both do seem they, pretty mm, deserving. I don't know. They? I know. What about this? Sarah and Katrina, you've both got double passes. <gasps> Everyone gets to go! What a surprise. <laughs> it's commercial radio. We've got infinite cash and tickets. Is a comedy veteran. He's been on our screens, stages, and feeds for over 30 years. Now he's bringing his 21st solo stand up tour, Jibba Jabba Jamboree, to the Melbourne International Comedy Festival. Please welcome Ross Noble. Oh, one of our favourites, Ross Noble. Good morning. Hello, How are hello, you, hello. sir? I'm very well, thanks. I'm, uh, I, that freaked me out a little bit because, you know, when you hear people talk about on, on our feeds, yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's the youth, isn't it? It's yeah, young yeah. people talking. It's the the social media. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I just instantly went to uh, farmyard grazing. That's <laughs> what I went to. I mean, it's on our feeds. Is that so, so, or like I was, uh, or like breastfeeding in some way? You know, it's just kind of like we've 
seen him on the telly, but mainly he comes round our house and we are able to suckle on him. <laughs> what? We suckle on yes. your comedy teeth. Exactly. I like it a lot. Um, I'm going to have that as a quote. Great, suckle great. on his it. comedy teeth. When... Don't suck too hard. <laughs> Sorry. When... How come we haven't got? You? How come you? Two... I know your names in the like. Yeah, like I know yeah. you're at top of the yeah. bill there, but like, why is Bell not got a chair? Oh. <laughs> What's going on there? No, I mean, she, I haven't got a chair. Did you not actually know? So where no. you are right it's now, where I am, and oh, that's I where see. I have my chair. But then here, because I have to move around a bit, and I have to keep turning around to look at you and look at the boys, right. it's just easier. Ross, would you, do you like, like a, chair? a chair? No, 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 I'm fine. I'm actually fine. I'm more worried about the fact that you don't have a chair because what you're seeing is you would, like, where you are, you need to swivel, yeah. right? Yeah. But yeah. I'm looking at the chair that you're available <laughs> these lads are sitting on, and they are what are actually known as swivel chairs yeah. yeah so they have told yes. you they've basically said oh no 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 you have to swivel so you can't have a chair but you're where you've got swivel chairs so i'm just saying the swiveling is it's it's intrinsic to the movement of that particular that is chair. true that it is true, true. Yeah. i can grab one ross noble uh, joining you this morning on Nova 100 we yes. saw you uh, i believe it was last year might have been year before adelaide okay. fringe yes. and you were just berating the 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 woman from the block who kept yeah. singing too loud ah, <laughs> amity dry, amity dry. Yeah, amity yes. dry who does um she sings like songs she, she like it was just, okay. adelaide fringe is intense at <laughs> yeah. the tent next to um, yeah. ross's tent oh right yeah, so yeah, during your a, show you could yeah, hear her yeah. Yeah, yeah, she was performing. And I mean, I don't want to start pulling ranky or anything, but <laughs> I had like hundreds of people at my show. And I'm I'm just saying, maybe her <laughs> show was not as well attended as mine. Isn't it funny? That's such, but that shows the difference between Melbourne Comedy Festival and Adelaide, where yeah. Adelaide's just intense in a park. Yeah. Whereas the Melbourne International Comedy Festival, you guys will experience it this year, mm. is like around the city. You get like the whole arts centre. Oh, you you get do comedy in buildings here. It's not like a field hospital for MASH, <laughs> you know? But at least the horrors of war are nothing compared to having to put up with Amity Dry. Can I just, I don't, want, look, I don't want to start some sort of feud between me and Amity Dry, yeah. but her husband did come over to me while I was sat in a bar minding my own business and kind of had a go at me. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah, 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 yeah. And I just, um, and I said, look, I don't know what you're doing over there. What is it? Is it like, are you doing like DIY to music? And uh, he didn't think that was <laughs> Yeah. No, no, you know, you know what it was? Yeah, it's just like, you know what? Just, just, just turn, turn, your, music, yeah. turn yeah. your music down a bit. Mm. And also, country and western and comedy. Like, comedy's about, you know, like, laughter. Country and western's about, like, talking about, you know, your dog's died and all the rest <laughs> of it. So I just felt that, can I just say, I'm really dry, very talented individual. <laughs> turns, in a, turns in a wonderful show. But, you know, if you really? disrupt, if you just, you know what, if you disrupt my show, you get everything you get. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like your husband might have something on you now. Well, <laughs> well uh, you know, look, look, she's a lovely woman, but her husband's a terrible individual. <laughs> And I hope that she sings a song about him. Well, make sure <laughs> you check horrible. out this show in Melbourne. God. Jibber, Jabber, Jamboree. 100% less Amity Drive. The last yeah, year's show. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. At the Arts Centre <laughs> here in woman. Melbourne. Tickets. <laughs> and she'll do it at your house. <laughs> <laughs> Tickets are available at comedyfestival.com.au. As always, Ross Noble, thank you very much. Thank you. Sorry, Amity. <laughs> Sex dolls around Melbourne have sold out. We're talking oh, life-size uh, doll uh, sex dolls. Um, we're talking inflatable. We're talking very, very realistic. Uh, all because people have started using them to use the transit lanes when getting onto the freeway. So, obviously, the uh, carpool slash bus lane um, that is strictly only for people that are carpooling, that it means two or more people. So, what is happening? Are people are buying sex dolls? in Melbourne and then putting them in the passenger seat to then use that lane to get onto the freeway quicker. Now, if oh, you yeah, look at I'm the sure rules... Oh, yeah, I'm sure that's what they're using them for. <laughs> well... That's that... what they're telling their wives. <laughs> no, no, so I can get to work quicker. <laughs> baby, baby, come on. I mean, what do you mean? Okay, well, so you want to use the transit lane. You want to use it quicker. You buy one of these dolls. How much would you spend on it? Uh, I mean, for an inflatable doll, it's just like a, a glorified balloon, right? I what, mean... do you, so what do you normally spend on Oh, okay. I just want to clear clear it up. I've, I, I have never. There's nothing wrong with using them. I, oh, I, I think there I, is. I think there is a. There's a whole. Co- What's wrong with it? I know, like sex positive and all that stuff. But the, if you, if you're if you're getting down the doll sort of territory, I think that's a bit. Yeah. You know, that's interesting, isn't it? 
I, yeah, I, I just it's a whole community that use it. Doesn't mean it's not weird. If that's what it, <laughs> this whole community of furries, Bill, but I still think that's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, they're three thousand dollars. These dogs. Oh, three grand. So people are paying three grand to use the lane, which shows how hectic the traffic is here in Melbourne at the moment. Bill, now, I know. Read... I don't want to. I don't want to spoil your sweet naive brain. But again, to back to what Liam said. They might claim they're using them <laughs> they are, for the trans yeah. lane. They've got they're not, the footage of people not, using them. No one hates traffic that bad that they're spending $3,000 on a sex doll and then just using it in the passenger seat. You yeah. know what I mean? You know what, you know what I'd be doing? I mean, if, you spe- if you're going to spend three grand on, on a doll, you may as well get a Tesla and put it in the front seat and have a nap in the back. Yeah. And, 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 that is not how you should drive. And then, and then it can, you can just get to work without even having to put your foot on the XL. 100%. Well, if you read the rule book, it actually says, according to Vic Rhodes, that the passenger must be human. So these people are facing fines. There is cameras. And I grew up not... I didn't know there were cameras. I thought I thought it was an honesty system with the transit lanes. I thought it was just, oh, you just trust that the people using that lane have two or more people. So what, you're telling me there's someone operating a camera somewhere looking for shocked faces in the front passenger <laughs> seat? Like if there's someone like, with their mouth oh. over, and then you like, sex doll, got them, <laughs> got them. Send them a fine, boys. I am butchering my footy tips at the moment. I started off pretty good, round one, round two, butchered it, and I was off to a horrible start last night with Brisbane and Bulldogs. I tipped Brisbane, like I'm pretty sure 99% of the population did. The Bulldogs got up, good for them. I like the Bulldogs, but I still think they're going to win the game, and I'm off to a horrible start. Um, if you, for some reason, want to keep across my tips, they are in the Herald Sun. <laughs> I do. <laughs> what what a moment at the game last mm. night as well. Yeah, Jamara Ugelhagen, um, iconic, uh, lifted up the shirt as well, did the, the Nicky Winmar um, after... What happened last week, um, he wasn't doing any interviews, uh, wasn't talking for his mental health, which, is, uh, which I think is totally fair, and then he slotted his first ever goal and then he just lifts up the shirt. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, all those, like, you know, the, the racial slur and then having the microphones in front of your face yeah. all week, but then just letting your footy do the talking and then, yeah, he lifts up the, the Guernsey and, and, and points mm. at his skin on his stomach and, yeah, awesome. So that was, that was a great game for that reason, um, but tonight... Probably going to be the game of the round. I don't know who's going to win. I've tipped Collingwood, um, but it is Collingwood versus Richmond. We have tickets to give away to the game as well. And we are joined by Alani from South Moraine. Good morning. Hi. Now, uh, you've given us a buzz, 13 24, 10. We said call up if you want footy tickets. Uh, I believe your husband is a huge Collingwood fan. Massive, massive, mm. massive, massive. Well, if you want these tickets, you just have to tell us what was the score last time they played. Oh, I actually don't know. I don't follow the mm. footy. Oh, no I mean, come on. Won. No worries. Everyone knows Sorry. the exact score and disposals oh, not, from the last draw? time Richmond Oof. and Collingwood played. Was it a draw? Was it a draw? Uh, it wasn't a draw. Sorry, guys. That's all right. Now, you know what? Because I like you. You can have the tickets anyway. That quiz was never in the plan. We were just going to give them to you. But, of course, Ben had to go rogue. Did you even know the answer? I didn't know the answer. However, <laughs> Alani, your tickets yes? will be revoked unless you can name Ooh, one it's a plot twist. Collingwood player. Past or present. Hang on. Now I'm so nervous. Um, I'm going to burn him well, if you don't get it right. Dacos, I know. That's it. Um, you can just lock it in. You can lock in Dacos. <laughs> Very good. But now you must give us all oh, three stop. names of Alani. every known Dacos. <laughs> Otherwise, those <laughs> tickets... No, it's okay. It's, it's, it's fine. Yeah. Still, Selwood? I'm no, no so- now, you're, now you're butchering it. Now you're saying people from other teams. It's all <laughs> good. Dacos was right. That's enjoy good. Enjoy the footy, Alani. Just enjoy. And, uh, good, you know, I hope I hope the calling would get up for your husband. What an emotional roller coaster for her. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, bit of shush thanks. Time for Ben, Liam, and Dell's Friday meat tray. Let them eat meat! Mm. Ashburton meats are more than a gourmet grass fed butcher. They're also home to the world's number one butcher apprentice. Ashburton meats, High Street Ashburton. We give away our Friday meat tray every single week to our best caller. Uh, a little bit of an honourable mention uh, before we shoot off the meat tray this morning. Um, I remember earlier in the week we were speaking about uh, worst possible kisses, like the worst kisses you've ever had, because Harry Styles apparently a bad kisser. And we yep. got this awesome call. Yeah, from Louisa. 
I went on this blind date, decided to give the guy a bit of a kiss at the end of the night. His tongue was going like really fast in and out of my mouth. It was the most oh. disgusting thing like a I've ever yeah. experienced. Yeah, exactly. It was gross. <laughs> 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 she ended up with Pash Rash as well. <laughs> so bad. Uh, our best caller this week, though, goes to a man purely for his commitment. Uh, we were doing the show live from DeGraves Espresso on Wednesday morning for the Melbourne International Comedy Festival. And uh, we got our hands on some Prime, which is that energy drink that kids are going feral for like, all over the country. Like, as soon as it hits the wall of the shelves, boom, there's kids, like, fighting over it and it just disappears. We managed to get our hands on some, and we said, hey, if you can get down here in the next five minutes, the Prime is yours. Uh, and we, we met Dino in Canterbury. I'll give you Ice Pop as well as Blue Raspberry, and that's yours to walk away with. Or you can have $250. <laughs> 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 oh man, my wife's not going to be happy But I'll take the ice pop <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god <laughs> Dino You took the prime over the 250 bucks uh, Your wife is pregnant, I believe Was she listening on Wednesday? Uh, yeah, meow, uh, yes, she was uh, She reminded me when I got home That the pregnancy class is The birthing class is $250 Oh yeah <laughs> no. Would have been handy, wouldn't it? But but think uh, about this. Prime. When, you know when what, you're... Dino? Yeah, you just drink the prime and you'll be able to just no, pull that baby do, out. <laughs> make sure you hold some because when the when the baby's born, you can yeah. give it a little bit of prime and it will grow up to be a UFC fighter. And because you're the best caller of the week, you get the Friday meat tray. So now you're going to be literally putting food on the table for that future baby. <laughs> Unless. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Dino, do you want... The Friday meat tray, or two hundred and fifty bucks. Ooh. I'm about to tip over a hundred kilos, so I'll take the meat tray. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> I love Dino so much. <laughs> so we can, we can, we can, you know, buy our own birthing class. <laughs> Life, it's okay. We'll have a barbecue, a prime barbecue. As long as you weigh a hundred kilos. Uh, Dino, are you outside? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, just on the street. All right, mate. I'm gonna fire you the meat cannon now. You ready to catch it? Yep. Here it comes. <laughs> Sorry oh, about no. that, Dino. We put the coordinates in wrong. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au.